This Circle K convenience store is the scene of violence. A customer finds the clerk dead in a restroom. And it was a horrible moment. Workers find a decomposed body in the chimney of an abandoned restaurant. Also, he may very well be the youngest judge in New Mexico. The story is certainly unique. Good evening, I'm Tom Nelson. This is News Center 9. Tim Daly has the weekend off. A customer walked into a Circle K convenience store shortly before midnight this morning. Here, in the 1300 block of Magruder, there was no one behind the counter, so the customer searched to find the clerk. The search ended when the body of 55-year-old Joe Boyer was found hunched over in the restroom, shot to death in an apparent robbery. That's all the police know, and if you have any information, they ask for your help. Later in the day, another body was found under more bizarre and certainly more mysterious circumstances. Workmen were tearing down a restaurant near Donovan and Mesa. As they began to tear apart the chimney, a body fell out, dropping into the ashes of what was once the restaurant's barbecue pit. Of course, Longenecker has the story, but he cautions, the scene is gruesome. The farmer's market and restaurant has been closed for about a month. Shortly after nine this morning, two men were tearing down the brick chimney over the pit barbecue when they made a grisly discovery. The body of a man was found trapped inside the eight inch by 16 inch airway. Exactly what happened, no one knows, but a policeman had one possible explanation. It appears uh, a possibly burglar uh, attempting to come in through the chimney uh, got hung up inside the chimney and due to the heat of the barbecue pit uh, uh, died of the heat. You ever seen anything like this before uh, in, in your years in the forest? I've seen uh, people in fires that are burned real bad, but uh, this is the first time I've seen somebody stuck in the chimney like that. The man had apparently climbed to the roof of the restaurant, crawled up to the chimney top, and wedged his way down about 16 feet to the bottom, thinking there was some way out. But there was none. He apparently became trapped in the chimney damper and was unable to climb up. The county coroner will attempt to identify the man and determine the exact cause of death, but that may be extremely difficult. Police officials say they have no idea at this time just how long the body was lodged in the chimney, but there are estimates that it could have been there for up to one year. Horst Longenecker, News Center 9. A young man just barely old enough to vote turned out to also be just old enough to win public office in Las Lunas, New Mexico. A report now from Jane Wells. Matthew Otero, 18 years old, the seventh of 11 children, a normal teenager with average grades. But people around here have a lot of faith in Matt. And come January, he'll spend less time playing cards at home and more time dealing justice. Here at the Valencia County Courthouse, Matt Otero has been elected probate judge. It's about the only office that they would allow me to run for because of my age. Matt says his experience in the family plumbing business has taught him all he needs to know to unclog the truth. He's looking forward to a job consisting mostly of deciding who gets what in the settlement of small estates. My father has always taught me start from the bottom, wake yourself with yourself up. And that's what I'm doing now. Matt's family worked hard campaigning with him, going door to door. And talk about a generation gap. His opponent was 75-year-old Felix Padilla. Judging from the polls, youth won out. Some told me, no, nah, we don't need kids running this, uh, the courthouse. Uh, and some have just closed the door and we don't like politics. But some people, a lot of people have told me it, it, it's good you're getting involved. We need young blood. In Los Lunas, New Mexico, Jane Wells for NBC News. In other New Mexico news, the absentee vote made the difference. And now Las Cruces House District, seat 33 down in, over New Mexico, belongs to a Republican instead of a Democrat. The Democrat who lost the election is incumbent Brent Westmoreland. He was defeated by Republican challenger Patricia Dominguez. That was the final word today after a ballot recount which showed she won the election by a mere 38 votes. Coming up, they say it looks like a hurricane hit, but it was not a hurricane, it just felt like one. The Atlantic coast of Florida is ripped from top to bottom. And accidents like this one aren't supposed to happen. The French asked how two of their high-tech jets could have possibly collided. The story is on the way. Stay tuned. Presenting a great flood of values at your El Paso Las Cruces GMC dealers. A special shipment of extra units has been provided by GMC Truck, and greater selections await you. Affordable values are yours right now at your El Paso Las Cruces GMC Truck dealers. But this great flood of values is bound to sell quickly, so don't miss the boat. Get your hands on a truck you can live with and work with from your El Paso Las Cruces GMC dealers. 
12.9% interest, 8.8%. How about 0% interest? That's what you'll pay, 0% on anything you buy, now during Weberg's free credit sale. No interest for a year? I'd love it. 30, 60, 90 days? No. Weberg's free credit offer means no interest for one full year. No credit charges for a year. You can't beat that. At Weberg's, we want your business. Weberg's Furniture World! Decisions. In the field of medicine, they never come easy. And nowhere are the right decisions more vital. At Sierra Medical Center, our job is to make those decisions easier for you and your doctor. Our dedicated, highly trained staff and advanced technology provide El Pasoans with the finest health care possible. Sierra is the right decision. We've decided that surgery is not necessary. Sierra Medical Center. A step ahead. While families in the El Paso area were enjoying Thanksgiving dinner, the employees of Kemp Ford volunteered to mark down 200 cars and trucks for the biggest consumer warehouse sale ever. Friday and Saturday only. Choose from Escort, Ranger, and EXP under 6,500 or 122 a month. Tempo Mustang and F-150 under 7,500 or 144 a month. Thunderbird LTD and Bronco 2 under 99.90 or 206 a month. Many vehicles priced below factory invoice. Even used cars sacrificed with up to a 50% discount. Happy Thanksgiving from Kemp Ford Isuzu. There was a fatal crash between two French military aircraft in southwestern France today. The two Air Force transports collided in the air at low level. They were on a test mission. Thirteen people were killed.